Now the tech industry is developing very, 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 very rapidly. And you can also see that in aviation. We know we have thick glass cockpit, thick screens and stuff. And recently we got into the technology of AI, of artificial intelligence. Now computers can actually be intelligent and actually learn on their own. And the AI technology has actually arrived in aviation. Now, for example, the new Cirrus Vision Jet, we are in an older version of the Cirrus Vision Jet, the new model can actually land itself with just one button. Actually, it's supposed to be used for some kind of emergencies. For example, if the pilots don't feel comfortable landing a plane or just pass out and the passengers have to press that button. And when that button is pressed, the airplane actually chooses its destination airport. It actually contacts ADC. It sets the squawk code to 7700, all that emergency landing stuff. It does that fully automatically and that is extremely, extremely cool. Now, um, let's just try that, right? Because we have an AI in this flight simulator, which works really, really well. What this AI can do is actually choose its destination, its flight plan, and also contacts ADC as well. It's extremely interesting. I don't know how it does that. Let's just challenge that one today, that, uh... AI thing. It also lands itself, by the way, and it even taxis itself. I don't know how it does it. Again, I I'm just confused at this point. But let's just spawn onto a runway. I think that's a little bit easier. Okay, so it has requested IFR clearance to some kind of airport. Turning on the engines, it's putting down the flap. So it's actually taxiing to runway 04 right, which is right there. And it's actually going to hold short, right? It is taxiing. The plane is taxiing on its own. Isn't that just amazing? Okay. It's, it's taxiing. That's... It's just normal, right? I'm very excited to see what this plane is going to do. How it's going to fly, right? Which entry point is it going to use? Okay, it's going to use this one. Please hold short properly. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're cleared for takeoff. So it's, it's going to take off, right? Now we are taking off from Nice Airport, and we're flying to an airport also in the south of France. So this flight will not be too long, and therefore this video will not be unnecessarily too long. Okay, 100 knots. We're a bit late for a rotate, maybe? We should, should rotate, please? You might want to rotate now. 130 knots, please rotate. 150 knots, a bit very close to an overrun. Even though we gotta say that the Cirrus Vision Jet does need quite a long runway. We're just normally climbing. Meanwhile, the ADC hands over the plane to another frequency. That is very interesting. Now, before I made a video about it, but I kind of failed to use the AI, but now I managed to use it properly. And I'm getting a call right now. That's not good, but I can actually answer the call since I'm not, you know, I don't need to, uh, concentrate on flying, right? Okay, that's maybe the definition of autopilot, but this is not autopilot. This is actually using its AI things. Oh, and here's our arrival airport. It is around 56 nautical miles away. This flight should not be longer than half an hour. Now the airport, which is here, that the AI chose to fly to, it made a choice on its own, has regularly sized runways. Longest runway is 2,000 meters long, and the shortest is 1,900 meters. Uh, that is definitely enough for the Cirrus jet to land. Yeah, the Cirrus Vision Jet is a really, really nice plane. It's a nice private jet. It's a pretty cheap private jet as well. It's pretty much the cheapest jet you can get. It's still like three million dollars depending on the configuration, but we're just casually flying over France. Our origin airport is over here. Yeah, we can open the door, but we should probably not do that. Oh, 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 we just opened the door. That's not good. <clears throat> All good. Okay, so we were just told by ATC to descend, and that's what the AI is doing. Let's make this a bit even more interesting. Let's get some stormy weather in here to make this a little bit more challenging. Let's get IFR conditions, and we are flying over the clouds now. You know what? Let's just go for stormy weather. It's still flying, so that's a good sign. And as you can tell, we are in big turbulence. This is a small plane, so this is heavily affected. I should probably reduce the winds here. I don't know what it's doing. Just hope that we don't crash, right? <laughs> uh, you're supposed to maintain 5,000 feet though stupid ai let's get some good weather in here because we have already learned that ai does not really care about weather after all oh my goodness that descent rate 3500 feet you're trying to kill me plane whatever you want to do right a bit low over the ocean i don't like that
that. I wonder if there is an emergency, if AI is going to pull caps as well, the parachute, but we should not test that right now. Damn, as a student pilot, I'm actually worrying about AI actually being able to basically fly on its own. You have the field in sight. Yeah, you don't have eyes though, you cannot see the field. Alright, it's putting flaps to 50 degrees. We are extremely low, we're around 18 nautical miles from the airport, but whatever you want to do, here's the airport, we have it in sight. This is runway 31. I wonder what the butter skills in this plane are. Oh, oh, we are descending very rapidly because we are about to land in the ocean, quite literally. We're descending at a very, very high descent rate. I wonder what it is thinking now. Does it think that it's good on the glide slope? Because it isn't. Oh my goodness. You know, I told you earlier that I'm worrying about AI being able to take over, you know, the pilot seat, but but, uh, but you know, I have to kind of rethink that. All right, we're about to land in the ocean. Good job, AI. Still trying to fly, but it's it's not going to work, buddy. So I think we don't even need to challenge this AI because it crashes on its own into the ocean. Now, something might have gone wrong. There might have been a bug or something. Yeah, no. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.